Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorialini Test Prep. Today we will be going over lesson number one on how to use Desmos for the digital SAT map. Solve any equation. Let's get started. So if you didn't know, you can solve any equation on the digital SAT math by using Desmos. So what you're going to do, you're going to graph y equals the left-hand side of the equation. So for this problem, that would be 55 over x plus 6. And y equals the right-hand side of the equation. For this problem, that would be y equals x. And you're going to type both those into Desmos and see where they intersect. So I'll demonstrate for the first question. So y equals 55 over x plus 6, and y equals x. So remember, um, you should probably bring a mouse with you on test day because it's much easier to click and drag and move around. And you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out to find the points of intersection. I see that the points of intersection are here and here. So remember, we don't care about the y values, so we're just going to look at the x values. So my first x value is negative 11, and my second x value is 5. So that's all we needed to do. Let's go back to OneNote. So x equals negative 11 and x equals 5. And this question says, what is the positive solution? So the final answer is 5. OK, let's do a few more. And now you guys can try. All right, pause this video and see if you can answer this question using Desmos. OK, so. Again, we're going to do y equals left-hand side and y equals, y equals right-hand side. So y equals, let's hope I don't forget the equation when I switch tabs here. So y equals negative 4x squared minus 7x and y equals negative 36. OK, and I, I see right away that I, I can't really see where they intersect. I can't see the blue graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click around. I'm going to zoom out a little bit using my scroll wheel. Oh, and I see here it is. I zoom back in. And then I click on these two points and label them. And again, we only care about the x values, right? Because that's what we want. We want to solve for x. So the two x values are negative 4 and 2.25. And again, the question asks for the positive solution. So we're more concerned with this 2.25. And you see 2.25 is not an answer choice. So we can quickly go into the next line and type in 2.25. And then click on this little fraction button on the left-hand side, and it'll convert it to a fraction for us. So the two answers were negative 4 and 9 over 4. So let me write that down. Negative 4 and 9 over 4. Great, and again, it wants the positive solution, so the answer is 9 over 4, which is answer choice B. Awesome, last question, very same thing. So for this one, we can again type in y equals, pause this video, see if you can do it. For this one, we can again do y equals left-hand side and y equals right-hand side to get all of the solutions to the equation. So uh, we're going to go into Desmos, and we're going to do y equals left-hand side. And the absolute value button is in the function menu. But what might be easier is if you hold Shift and press the key above Enter, which does a vertical line. So 2, four minus, absolute value 4 minus x, and then plus 3, and then vertical line, 4 minus x, vertical line. And then the other side is y equals 25. So we're going to do y equals 25. Again, I can't really see where it intersects, so I'm going to zoom out using the scroll wheel. Oh, there it is. So let's click right here and right here. So my two solutions, again, we only care about x, guys. 
is, are negative 1 and 9. So let's write that down. So negative 1 and 9. And it only cares about the positive solution, so we're going to go with 9 as our final answer. As you can see, this is incredibly helpful because you can solve any equation on the test that you don't know how to do, even the free response ones without multiple choice answers. So you don't need to guess and check anymore. You can use this to solve any equation on the test. OK, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you are interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor all sections of the SAT and all math subjects from about seventh grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by, and good luck studying.